بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله ربي اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي Hello brothers, sisters, how are you? Uh, in today's lesson, I would like to show you how we can create uh, curbles uh, in advanced steel. As we know, uh, curbles uh, usually used for uh, supporting crane beams. This is the beam, this is the crane, so this is the beam, and this is where we, uh, what I mean, this one. So it uh, create for uh, it create for for supporting. Uh, beams okay so uh, how we can model this in advanced steel as you see uh, here is uh, like a plate so it it, it uh, made from plate we can make some plates and cut out and uh, make a beam like a beam or a curve or uh, sometimes we are uh, using uh, profiles okay uh, sometimes we are using profile just like this is here uh, this IP20 uh, we are using profiles after that the, the rest we can make with place okay or uh, whatever uh, we have so how we can model this in advanced steel uh, it's very easy not a uh, complicated one so the first thing that I want to make uh, to uh, make a beam okay let's say we have a column uh, i'll just put uh, 3000 so uh, it's three meters sorry i have to put it in that direction uh just like this yeah it's just for test okay and i will use maybe hea 300 or 320 or whatever you have no problem and i want to make a corbel here uh, the best thing is is how can I do it? Go to front view, okay, front view to the to, uh, to the beam that we have, and after that go to UCS, change UCS to view. Of course, if you want, you can change uh, or you can move uh, the UCS to the right position, okay here or to this side or to the in middle no problem after that go to uh, fr uh, top view again which is the front view of the column and uh, start to draw a polyline so PL for polyline start from here uh, PL polyline you can start from here no problem uh, 300 the width and the height uh, let's say 250 and what about this one if we have uh, as you see we have two angles we can change from here to something like uh, this angle 15 or 30 so as you see I can just go to here and close the polyline close it okay so if I want to uh, put the kerbal in the lower we can just move it by uh, using move tool okay so I now I have I have this this polyline but what I have to do uh, there are two things let me let me show you first uh, what I mean after that I will, I will, I will uh, discuss about this point I can use this one and go to uh, the beam fold beam cross section and select uh, the polyline this polyline select it the center we say here okay we say this point and start this point also and the end point uh, the point which uh, represent the, the width of the of the curve let's say we have 300 uh, sorry I think I did a mistake no problem again uh, use uh, folded beam polyline select this polyline the center point let's say this point and start point 
this point and uh, locate end point which is represent as I said I represent the width so I'll say 300 we will get something like this you see we will get something like this we can use this one or this or this so we can um, put the exact as you see here the the system line in the exact position as you see here we could get this curve now we can make holes here inside and we can do anything but if we if we made these from plate from plate uh, let's say first we have uh, 12 millimeters okay if we made uh, with plates uh, these edges these is the end one will not be uh, like this 90 degree will not be 90 degrees so what we do we can just put uh, as you see here from the point two we can say the uh, the radius is something like uh, 12 or whatever from a third also let's say 15 by 15 I think is better uh, sorry 20 is here the the minimum is 20 so also we uh, choose the, for this one is 20 also and as you see here uh, it will in reality in reality it will not be like this it will be one one uh, weld later so we can make weld uh, this no problem okay now we finish this one what about the the, the inner inner part which we have here inside the uh, plate uh, we can do it easily no problem we have this uh, this plate right we have this one and we can just select this this line uh, the polyline that we created before and we go to uh, create a plate at polyline we did a, a plate and the plate is uh, 10 millimeters after that I will move uh, this to the middle of this curve. how can I do it uh, I can go to uh, advanced tool palette from here from advanced copy I can choose move so, uh, the move tool middle as you see it's uh, if it, I couldn't uh, use the middle for this one I know uh, I can't do it for now but if I couldn't uh, it's pretty easy I can uh, can uh, use the middle of this um, beam or column and what I choose I choose here only uh, which one only in Z direction so I will remove these two and I set preview as you see now it became in the middle okay so we can what we can do we can say okay okay we can say okay but if you if you see here if you look at here uh, let me I'll, I'll not do it first I'll, I'll cancel or let me no problem I'll do it uh, if you if you look at here I did this this is the outer line of this curve so uh, before I have before I making plate what I have to do I can go to make a copy for this one okay I have to uh, offset this this line by the thickness of this uh, one. The thickness is we have 12, so I have to offset it. Offset 12 millimeters. This the 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 right way. And of course, what I have here, I have here this side. I have a fillet, so uh, F for fillet. Uh, the radius, what we have radius, we have 20. So I'll select these two again these two now I can I can make a, uh, a plate from this uh, polyline so go to plate at polyline like this yeah as you see now is uh, this one is uh, much better than this one of course we, we can we can do it or we can fix this one we have no problem with that we can do it with featuring with, with uh, uh, what we have with with shrinking with merging because if you go to uh, here, uh, here from the fl pl place, what you have, we have many things. We have uh, merge place, we have shrink and expand. You see, we have many things, so we can fix it. But it's it's easier and it's faster way to to make like this. So uh, let me take this out and 
move this one of course I can, I can do it by my normal move just like AutoCAD but uh, it's better for me to use advanced copy and after that move uh, with that one I will click here to the middle of this one as you see here I will just use uh, Z direction show uh, so it will uh, give me only this this direction and okay so now it's it's very good what uh, remain we can just select these two and make a well so uh, this one will become one assembly uh, the cool thing maybe you ask me why why it uh, the, the color of these two is is different this is in yellow and this is in in uh, like brown if you look at the double click and go to uh, the type of these uh, the, the type of this one this is folded beam this is uh, as you see here we did uh, where is that one yeah here this is called folded beam so it's uh, this consider a beam like a beam okay but this one is a beam how can I change it I can just select it li4 layer li sorry I have to use li not le select this one and uh, sorry not here uh, from PR properties I can change the uh, this layer to uh, plates as you see the layer is beams now I want to ma uh, make it plates so yeah now it's one one color with this one so now these are all uh, one plate if I double click here go to display type you see I can make simply and just like like a beam okay uh, after that what I can do I can make uh, bolts between these two for making this one I can go back UCS to the world and go to front view and uh, change UCS to view after that uh, select these two okay and go to objects from this one I switch to bolt okay and um, uh, two points so first click here uh, select this one click here first and click this side second as you see now it's just like this we will fix it no problem and uh, go to distance we have uh, distance 40 by 40 again no problem we will fix uh, this again let me fix first select this one and shift it to here now we fixed the the bolts but the number of the bolts is is not okay so uh, uh, and also this distance you see now we don't have any problem with that but where during during uh, erection process you see this this ball is difficult to to, to uh, put this uh, ball so I will uh, change this one just by right click go to advanced properties and uh, about the distance and there are two things let me let me show you maybe the, the top one is good so how can I how can I change only the bottom one the bottom one is uh, I can change the bottom one by uh, choosing this point okay as you see I can take it up 40 you see I will just I uh, change change just just the bottom one or I can bring it down uh, by 20 maybe you see I changed only to, uh, the bottom one that's very good after that select uh, the bolt right click uh, advanced properties the distance go to the in y direction let's say maybe we have four so I think now is very good as you see now we have this one uh, again uh, because uh, this curve we have uh, of course we have another another beam so I will uh, move this one to side and I will make a copy for that one let's see we have six meters 
and I will make a beam for these two I will use this point to a straight it's, it should be straight like just like this right click uh, positioning here and uh, for this I will choose I can you choose whatever, whatever I, I want I don't know I don't care about it maybe this one is okay and what we can choose uh, yeah I'm sorry I, will, I didn't select the correct point so I can fix it or I can delete this one and make another one but I will fix it no problem go to concept uh, conceptual from this point just change this point to here and I think this one is okay yeah this one is okay after that change back to uh, conceptual you see now is very good uh, of course we can we can make uh, bolts here I think uh, the edge is we have to choose I section not edge section because we did uh, a kerbal is uh, not not uh, a big kerbal so I will use IP 300 so I could get this distance so that I can move it a little bit or anyhow uh, I can select these two and I want to make bolts for top but for top uh, first of all I have to change back the ECS to the top because always uh, when we make a boss uh, we have to select uh, on the top so go to objects select these two and go to two points this is the first point and uh, let's say this is the second point okay again go to distance uh, for this time I'll say 30 by 30 I think is okay and in this in y direction or let's say we have three or four maybe three is okay but three is, uh, is impossible because uh, why impossible because when we put three uh, the uh, middle one will be exactly on the on this plate so uh, it will not work for us I think uh, this is good for us and for the uh, second side for this side we can make the uh, same thing okay so I think it's very uh, good now we uh, by by this we could make a uh, corbel for our structure okay as you see uh, we, uh, this we did uh, as before but if we uh, I didn't uh, delete uh, this plate so uh, um, to show you another thing okay uh, for this one uh, why I offset the, the line I can't I can't do from here it's pretty easy I can't do it because as I said we have a shrink uh, so we can select this one shrink uh, after that this plate space or enter you see it gives you the minus to shrink uh, the plus to increase so what I want I want to shrink it by minus 12 12 millimeter as you see now we get we get the exact dimension with that one okay after that what remain remain these two parts uh, making features so as uh, you see we can go to features from this point click it concave what we have we have 20 right so we just like before and this one click it here so now this plate is exactly like this plate okay so but uh, but you you, you saw that uh, and this one when we offset the polyline is better for us not a uh, plate so uh, so uh, this is for today I hope you enjoyed guys don't forget to like and uh, share this video and subscribe to my channel